Within this lesson, we'll connect the area model and the partial products method to the standard algorithm. Do you recall how to figure out the area of a rectangle or square? Remember what that formula is? Did you see area equals length times width? How would we find the area for this here then? What would we do? Right, we would multiply 5 times 300. Or 5 times 300s. 5 times 300s is 1500s, which is also written as 1500. Here below, we still have that rectangle that is 300 by 5, but now we have put together another rectangle that is 20 by 5 and another rectangle that is 4 by 5 along with it. When we look at that rectangle that is 5 times 20, what would the area there be? It would be what? Well, it would be 100. And what would the other one be? That'd be, let's see, what, 5 times 4, and 5 times 4 is 20. If we were to put all of those together, it would actually be 5 by what? Let's see, 5 by, look at all of that, right? 5 by 324, or 324 times 5. And all of these here are partial products. 5 times that 300, 5 times 20, 5 times 4, where we would be able to put them together. 1,500, 100, 20. Putting those areas together, we would have 1,620, so that 324 times 5 equals 1,600. Let's do a quick standard algorithm. We'll go over here. 5 times 4 is 20. 0, regroup the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 2, regroup the 1. And 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Or 1,620, just as we had figured out with this area model. Here I have 217 times 6. We're multiplying by 6 here, so that will be the width for our area model. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to think about and break apart and decompose the 217. We'll break it apart into its hundreds, into its tens, and into its ones. So first off, that is equal to two hundreds. One ten. And then how many ones are in there? Right, seven ones. So that is six times two hundreds, six times one ten, six times the seven ones. And if we were to put all of this together, two hundreds, one ten, seven ones. What we're modeling there is the number 217. So really, this is 217 by 6 when we put them all together. Let's write that out with the partial products, and we'll see how it is that this fits with that area model. As we had mentioned before, this is 2 is worth 2 hundreds. So two hundreds times six, two hundreds times six is 1,200. Next, we have six times the 110. And the partial products there is going to be 60. And then so we'll go ahead and write that right within our area model, just like the 200s times the 6 is 1,200. Finally, we have the 6 times the 7, 
And the 6 times the 7 ones is 42 ones, and that's why we write it 42. And again, right within our model, put all of those areas together, 1,200, 60, and 42. And what we get is we get our answer of 1,302. Can you use the area model to go ahead and figure out the product of 7 times 428? Think about what it is that we're supposed to do with the 428. Remember to break it apart and show those partial products right within the area model to put them together carefully. Go ahead and pause the video while you're doing your work. Did you first break apart the number? We had four hundreds here, and then we have two tens, and we have eight ones. Next, we can go ahead and figure out those products and what goes within each of those boxes. The first one, that's four hundreds times seven. That's four hundreds times seven, which is... 28 hundreds, or 2,800. Next one is 7 times 2 tens, which is 14 tens, which is also 140. If we put those two together, we'd have 2,940, and then we have one more number to go ahead and figure out. The other number to figure out is the 7 times 8 ones, which is 56. So we will add that together. We added together all of those within our area model to get our product of 2,996. Look over your area model. Let me show you one last example with the area model. We'll go 5 times 318. This time we'll go ahead and break apart 318 with into its hundreds, the tens, and then the ones. In this case, that's 300, 10, 8. Notice that I wrote it out a different way this time. Decompose those. It is 318 by 5 for that area model. Let's start with that first piece. That first piece is 300 times 5, or 300 times 5, which is 1,500, which is also equal to 15 hundredths. Next one, we have 10 times 5, and 10 times 5 is 50. Let me write that in the box and in the area model. And then we have 8 times 5, and 8 times 5 is, right, 40. Let me write that within there. And then I can add those to be able to get our product, which is 1,590. If you need to write that vertically to be able to solve it, you may. The other thing that you might do as you're solving these is to use another method to make sure to check your work. For instance, we can use the standard algorithm. 5 times 8 is 40, place a 0, regroup of 4, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9, and 5 times 3, or 5 times those 3 hundreds, is 15 hundreds. And that's why it is that we can write a 15 within that place there. So, using our standard algorithm, it's showing that that is the correct answer. And again, this method right here is called the area model. And we do see those different steps. Hey, there's that 1,500 at the 300 times 5. We see that part there where it is we had the 5 times the 1, 10, which was 50. And we do see the other part where it was 5 times the 8 ones, which was 40. It does match up with some of those other methods that we have been using as we work through multiplying. 
If we were to show this with a distributive property, that would be 5 times, and we broke it apart, times 300 plus 10 plus 8, where it is that we would distribute 5 times 300, 5 times 10, and 5 times 8.